Hello and welcome. Mid-career managers across the spectrum want to transition into management. The same challenge or issues faced by women managers and the companies have, is, is, have to reckon with this issue and perhaps help them along. Now doing that pretty effectively it appears in uh, IBM is uh, Kalpana Margabandhu who is also director for IBM at, uh, and looking after the CIO lab out of Bangalore. Kalpana, thank you very much for uh, speaking with us. So uh, one of your challenges is to ensure that mid-career women do not become managers but actually retain their interest in technology because that's, I guess, a critical need for the company itself. Yes. So how do you do that? And, and before you do, tell me about how you did that. Tell me how did you do it? How did you manage to retain your interest in technology? So my interest in technology, like I said, I've done, uh, I've worked in product development throughout my career. Mm. And even when there was an option for me to move to management, mm -hmm. um, I've always ensured that I manage it technically. Mm -hmm. When I had the option of moving into IBM, I think the interest and or the attraction was IBM offered a technical path. Right. So I joined as a software specialist and continued as a senior software specialist at least for four plus years mm -hmm. and being a technical career. And mm -hmm. then given the need at that time, I moved into management. Mm -hmm. But I always ensured there is a team under me which is focused on innovation. Mm -hmm. Right. So bring in innovation either into the product that we are developing or bring in new ideas mm -hmm. which you can transform. So I always mm -hmm. kept a team like that. Mm -hmm. And just recently I moved into the role which is ideally for that because the team itself focuses on innovation for IBM. Mm -hmm. How do you bring innovative solutions? Mm -hmm. And the current one I'm working for is uh, IBM Watson solution for IBM. So right. I don't think you can get More better, better than, than that. Right. <laughs> so how do, you, how do you structure this process? I mean, you know, you, you talked about uh, helping mid-career women retain uh, the spark in technology and uh, IT, I would imagine. Yes, yeah, so actually whenever you look at uh, any uh, thing, there are three parts, right? There is one either when you're attracting women, what all it, you can do it. So we go and try to look at women who may have taken a break mm -hmm. or people uh, who are um, uh, sort of moved into management uh, recently or some of the times they say we don't opt for uh, things. So I think we try to get those kind of women. Mm -hmm. But when they come in, we have a very good laid out process. As mm -hmm. soon as they come in, they'll have a distinguished engineer as a mentor. Mm -hmm. We put in a training plan for them mm -hmm. and then see how they ramp up on our technologies. And currently we took IBM's key initiatives mm -hmm. of social, mobile, analytics, and uh, the cloud. Mm -hmm. And then said in those areas, can we start getting in women? And then we have laid out a complete uh, career uh, path for them. Mm. So you give them six months, these are the things that they need to be doing, you evaluate them, and then say, are they in the right path, what do they need, so that you can help them grow in the technical and they retain. So this is when you are trying to right. attract. Mm. At the same time, you already have women, right, mm. who are people in the uh, mid-level layer, mm. and as they are growing, so you have to need a lot of mentorship, and you identify them early, put them to what we call as a technical women pipeline program. Mm. That means when they are, uh, they are selected, they are sent to this program. Mm -hmm. And that is like, a, again, a facilitated session. And each of them has an executive sponsor and a distinguished engineer as a sponsor right. to help them grow. Right. So what's the, what's the response been like in your, in your it's opinion? It's been really, really good. I think mm -hmm. we have been seeing a lot of interest, a lot of support from the top uh, executives down. Mm -hmm. We have all distinguished engineers coming forward to be part of these programs, mm -hmm. mentoring, identifying women. And then, so we already have a set of people whom we have recruited. In addition, there's a lot of um, media. If you go into any of the social media, if you go into Tumblr, you will see very short videos that you have put, makes it very exciting. Mm -hmm. And this is something maybe people should do. We call it the technologistas. Mm -hmm. I think that is the branding we have used for these. Mm -hmm. And our distinguished engineers are interviewed by high school kids. Mm -hmm. Right in a two minute video, you can learn the attraction of what is there. At the same time, you've already sparked an interest. Mm. And we have seen a lot of people following that and getting interested. And when you say a lot of people, you mean women, really? Women, or young, yeah, young, because yeah. it's basically addressed at, at women. Right. So how do, uh, how, how do the male uh, counterparts feel then? Because there's so much attention being uh, focused on the women and their transition. But there is a, okay, in IBM, there is a lot of things that we start doing right. it. We may be doing it for women, but mm -hmm. a lot of them are a larger uh, programs that are available. Mm -hmm. So we have already programs that we do for a, like the Any mid-career right? transition. There is a tech gen with a focus on uh, the technical pair mm -hmm. thing. We have a business and technical leadership program mm -hmm. where we identify the technical people. Then we put them through a technical leadership program which is very, um, which is very uh, similar. And there you'll have both um, the men and women. Mm -hmm. But here it is, the, the thing is to keep the focus because it becomes overwhelming mm. with today's changing technologies. 
mm. and to keeping up with all the technologies, it becomes a little overwhelming for women. Right. Right. So the basic facilitation is we are trying to see how you can help. So we did one kind of an innovation program here. We got an external facilitator who has been in innovation and we ran a program. So we selected a set of women mm. and then how can you keep in touch with technology? Mm. Like a small clues, right? Mm. That how do you keep um, looking at the sites? How do you learn technology? What do you learn today? Mm -hmm. So put in something which you start at the beginning of a day. Mm. Right? And then you say there's 10 minutes or a half an hour or one hour for me and this is how I develop technology and telling them how easy it is mm. for you to do. Right. So yeah. let me ask you a larger question which maybe I should have asked earlier. Why is uh, uh, IBM or organizations like IBM doing this? First and foremost it's a business requirement because mm. if you say the customers that we serve is are all kinds, right? And today if you're looking at a lot of the analytics uh, around, you say the, the buying power is with women, they influence a lot of decisions mm. and if you're seeing the use of mobile, a lot of times the design goes based on the user, mm. right? And if you are uh, the, the guys only designing, I think it will be oriented more towards <laughs> the kind of audience, right? And not only that, and so when women do, they'll say, oh, I would use it like this, mm. right? This is what is my requirement. Plus you get a diversity of thoughts when you mm. put teams together. Mm. So IBM has always looked at it as a business imperative mm. and then focused and I think it started much before even Mm. organizations even thought about uh, women and diversity. Right. So and when you got into this world of uh, technology, I mean, what was it like and what made you stick around when you did? Uh, I think it was the excitement provided because I can mm. remember when I started my career, like I said, we were in small organizations mm. and always focused on looking at new technology. Mm. And my manager, the way they worked, I think we never had the word diversity, but mm. he treated it as equal. Mm. So he used to throw challenges, he used to push us. And I found it very interesting developing uh, products. Mm -hmm. At the same time, I think. But there mustn't have been too many of your own peers who would have uh, entered the workforce. Uh, interestingly, when I joined, I think in my engineering, we had uh, five girls at one time, which was a record at that time in the Indian Institute of Science. Mm -hmm. And a couple of us joined the same organization. So we sort of grew up together. Mm -hmm. But I think I've had peers who were guys who never treated us differently. Mm -hmm. And I've grown up with brothers, so I've never been treated differently at home. So I think in the initial phases it was not so, mm. and of course married into a family which gives me the same kind of a support. Mm. So it was not very difficult for me ever. And my father brought me up saying career is required for women. So I never had a choice of saying career or home. Mm. I think so. But I was always that's a focusing. fundamental question that a lot of people must be grappling with today, right? I'm talking young people. Right. I mean, can I even enter the workforce? Okay, if I enter the workforce, maybe I'll go into technology or computing or whatever. So what would you tell those young ladies you or girls? You should go for technology. It gives us a lot of uh, opportunities because you all have the capability of learning by doing engineering. It teaches you how to learn mm. and that is what you apply. And one thing women need to do is learn to ask, mm -hmm. right? I think that's what I have found. I had a great peer team or even my team. I used to say, I'm busy with management. It's your responsibility to teach me technology, mm -hmm. right? When somebody is talking about something, you should be able to understand and grasp. So. I find different ways to keep myself learning and that is what I would tell uh, people is you have to figure out ways how you keep up with technology and we joined engineering because that was our interest so you just should continue mm -hmm. and it gives us a lot of opportunities right and IBM gives you a lot of flexibility, lot of organizations are looking at how to make it easier for women as they go through their career and the personal because there are a lot of changes that happen mm. and that is one of the focus on mid career right how do you look at your career how do you balance it sometimes something else takes priority handle it properly mm. right and take the right decision it's a long career and right. today aruna was talking about the same thing career is so long one year two year if you go slow or you you take a break it is not going to affect right. in the long term right so let me ask you a larger question. So this is India in 2013. Uh, I guess it's vastly different from uh, uh, three Definitely, decades ago when you yes. entered the workforce. Uh, what's the journey ahead like? What do we still have to do as a country, as companies, uh, as those who want to bring women into the force? Still there is a lot of focus both I think uh, in organizations and socially also. Mm. Right? Because I think uh, in families also like we educate women or we get the women married and, and the people marry mm. women who are educated. I think the support is very, very critical from the family where the women get married into, mm -hmm. right? And that thing is people have to learn. Like mm -hmm. I said, I've been lucky mm -hmm. even uh, so long ago, I had that support. Mm -hmm. 
And I think I've brought up my son with the same attitude, I hope, so that he can recognize and support. Mm. And that's what you would need to look at in the social front. Mm. Organizations are learning. Otherwise, mm. they would not be sending women here. You don't see the organizations uh, putting up the plans for getting uh, the women into their workforce, supporting them. Mm. I think that should only improve. And I think the technology helps us a lot. Mm. Today, you can work from anywhere. Mm. You can pick up any kind of work and still be able to support it either from home mm. or from a different location. So I think it should only become better. Right. And today's GHC, if you see the women mm. and the force, mm. you know that they all want to make it. And so I think we will become only better. Right. That's a very nice note to end on. Thank you so much for speaking with us, Kalpana. Thank you. Thanks a lot for the opportunity. Thank you.